Welcome back. A North Dakota couple lived on their farm for 13 years before realizing what they had. Tonight, uh, Valley News team Sarah McCurdy introduces you to a family that works overtime to preserve hidden treasures from the past. Deary Higgins could have all the time in the world and still wouldn't take a break. There's a lot to do and don't want to sit still either. What do you need? Higgins spends his days restoring the Central Valley School to its pre-student state. You asked who takes out the trash, and I said, Jerry, Jerry does everything around here, doesn't he? <laughs> Preschooler cute. It's a good feeling, but I don't do everything around here. After hours, Higgins spends time on a different type of restoration in a place where small town life doesn't get much smaller than this. Well, we figure I'm the mayor and she's law enforcement. Lion. Jerry and Julie Higgins spend their off time reviving a ghost from North Dakota's past. This was dated 1916. From After 13 years of living near Grand Forks, paper. they stumbled upon a clue in a nearby cemetery. Then comments from neighbors helped someone else's past catch up with them. And I asked him, I said, you know, what's this why not thing? He says, well, he says, that's your place. He says, your place used to be why not North Dakota? Somewhere. While digging for traces of why not, they discovered salesman Eric Larskar. In the late 1800s, like Larskar started a store, post office, and a town that stayed on North Dakota's map for 40 said, years. This is, this is from 1937. Back then, here, 275 gallons of gasoline, 33 bucks. And the business served 150 <laughs> families. They kept saying, well, why would you want to build a store? Because they had curb service at the time. And he says, well, why not? The name? stuck and 11 decades later higgins said why not his family converted the garage into a store of its own keeping neighbors and out of towners stocked with bait and snacks it's basically if we're home we're open doesn't matter what time of the day what time of the night why not unofficial population six people 12 dogs and cats and 480 no night crawlers we consider it a town some people probably think we're just playing local I mean, just, just dumb crazy or something about it. And that's fine. They can think what they want about us. But I think we have, we're sitting on history out here. And one way or another, they want to keep it alive. Not everybody has a piece of history on their property. In Why Not North Dakota with photographer yeah, Dave Grant. Why Not on the map here. Sarah McCurdy, Valley News Live. On, it's in, Grand Forks. in Why Not, uh, Why Not is uh, seven miles northeast of Reynolds in Grand Forks County, as Sarah was uh, suggesting there. The Higgins family hopes to return Why Not to North Dakota Maps. They say whether the store makes it or not, the sign marking Why Not will always stand on their property. Good for them. There are a lot mm. of small towns mm -hmm. in the state that have either disappeared for one reason or mm -hmm. another, and they're trying to keep it alive.